kids! Welcome to our next lesson in Science 4. Our topic for today is all about the changes in the properties of materials when mixed with other material. In this video, you will be able to describe what happens to the properties of materials when mixed with other materials and identify the changes in the properties of materials when mixed with other materials. What are mixtures? Mixtures are combination of different substances or materials. The materials retain their own characteristics. When two or more materials are combined or put together, a mixture is formed. Solid materials can be mixed or combined with other solid materials. Mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. When the solid material is mixed with other solid material, each of the combined or mixed material can be easily identified from one another. Such mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. Some solid materials, when mixed with other solids, cannot be distinguished from each other. If the resulting mixture looked the same throughout, such mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Solid materials can be combined with liquid materials. Some solid materials completely dissolve in the liquid materials but others do not. Some solid and liquid substances readily dissolve in water and in other liquids. Salt, sugar, soy sauce, and ink are examples of these substances. These substances are soluble. Other substances do not dissolve at all in water and other liquids. These substances are insoluble. Water can dissolve more substances than any other solvent. It is easier to get. It is also more abundant than any other solvent. Liquid materials can be mixed with other liquid materials. While some liquid materials mix with the other liquids, some do not. Two liquids that do not mix form two layers like what you see with oil and water. This is a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of white sugar. I'm going to mix the iodized salt with sugar. Can you still distinguish or identify each solid material in the mixture? Did the resulting mixture look the same throughout? Now kids, let's go to activity 2. What happens to the solid materials when mixed with the liquid materials? This is a teaspoon of sugar. glass of water. I'm going to mix the water and the sugar. Let us see what happens. I'm going to stir. Let us 
see how much have you learned today. Let us answer the following activity. Directions Read carefully each item. Use a separate sheet for your answers. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. Number 1. How do you describe solids mixed with other liquids? A. Some solid materials completely dissolved in the liquid materials, but others do not. B. Some solid materials settle at the bottom of the container, while others stay within the liquid. C. The substance changed to gas. Letter D. A and B. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. Number 2. Which of the following do not change their characteristics when mixed? A. Water and kerosene B. Vinegar and soy sauce C. Sand and gravel D. Oil and gasoline If your answer is letter C, then you are correct. Number 3. Which of the following describes what happens to the white sugar when mixed with iodized salt? A. White sugar cannot be distinguished with the iodized salt when mixed. B. White sugar can be distinguished with the iodized salt when mixed. C. White sugar settles at the bottom of iodized salt. And letter D. White sugar completely mixed with iodized salt. The correct answer is letter A. Number 4. What might happen when flour is mixed with cold water? A. The flour will not settle at the bottom of the water. B. The flour will dissolve completely in water. C. The flour will not dissolve in water at all. D. The flour will dissolve partially in water. The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. What will happen to alcohol and water when mixed? A. Alcohol and water will not mix together. B. Alcohol and water will form two layers. C. Alcohol and water will mix completely. D. Alcohol and water will mix partially. The correct answer is letter C. If you got a score of 4 or 5, then you are an amazing kid. Thank you kids, I hope you learned a lot today.